Bruh, you mean to tell me 50 Cent, KRS-One, Ice Cube, Little Pump, and Waka Flocka is either endorsing Donald Trump or telling my people, black people, African-American people that our vote really doesn't matter and it doesn't matter if we vote? You mean to tell me I take a couple days off the scene and this is what a brother gotta come back to? Listen, y'all just need to be glad it's season two of AP on this. Come on, let's talk about it. Let's go. Your boy, 50 Cent, is back in the news. And you might be like, AP, why? Well, listen, 50 Cent is back in the news because just last week, he did a major endorsement for Donald Trump. And you might be like, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and the reason why 50, he has his own conniving reasons about why he did this little so-called endorsement of Donald Trump. Well, he did this endorsement of Trump because of Joe Biden's proposed tax plan that's going to hit New Jersey and New York State residents. If you make over $400,000 a year, you're basically going to get hit pretty deep in your pockets with taxes. I'm lucky, even though I live in New York State. I don't have to worry about that, and I don't have to go through that problem because, <laughs> full disclosure, oh, I, 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 I. <laughs> yes, come on now. This is a moment, full disclosure, I make nowhere near $400,000 a year, so I ain't got to worry about that. Well, listen, anyway, last week, yeah, 50 endorsed Donald Trump in a tweet that he sent out saying, yeah, you know, he basically said in some language, F Joe Biden, I'm voting for Trump. That's the clean version for y'all. But then just the other day, a couple days ago, matter of fact, I think it was only like a day or two ago, 50 Cent took back his endorsement for Donald Trump. And now he says he's not voting for him. You know what I'm saying? He put out a tweet out there kind of making light of the situation. Now, 50 Cent is a troll, y'all, which means he's somebody that pokes, pokes fun at people, pokes the bear. You really can't take nothing 50 says seriously, even though he wants to be taken serious. And as much as 50 has an amazing career in the film industry, television production, you still can't take him serious because he's just being 50. And can you really knock him for that? Yeah, I guess you can. But, you know, I haven't taken 50 serious for a while, even though I like him in power and all that. I liked him when he was in power. He's just being 50. You know, and as far as all the other rappers out there, like Ice Cube, who's working with the Trump administration in a few different ways, trying to make things easier for the black community and trying to bring us some kind of, you know, healthy way of living, something that we really haven't experienced across all spectrums for hundreds of years. Ice Cube is working with the Trump administration to try to bring us some things to help out our community, help out, uh, you know, certain injustices that we have to go through. So Ice Cube hasn't fully endorsed Donald Trump, but he is, like I said, working with their administration. Now, Little Pump, rapper Little Pump and Waka Flocka have fully endorsed Donald Trump. So, I mean, and KRS-One, you know, KRS-One basically said in a Instagram IG chat he had with, uh, I think it was Mike Epps, that, you know, our vote doesn't necessarily matter. And I hate talking about politics, y'all, but this is hot news. The election is about a week and a half away, so everybody's being asked and everybody's talking about politics. I like KRS-One, um, you know, and to a certain degree, you know, I still like Ice Cube, even though I'm really not rocking with the fact of how everything went down and was disclosed about all the things he's doing and working with the Trump administration. 50, just being 50. But as far as Little Pump and Waka Flocka fully endorsing Trump because of the whole tax proposal thing that Joe Biden has going on, got going on that he's proposing, I don't know, y'all. The only thing I can really say is use your own discretion. Don't get sidetracked. Don't get swayed by your favorite rapper, your favorite MC, your favorite actor. Do what, what is best in your heart. If your heart is telling you that this person that you should vote for is a scumbag and you really shouldn't vote for him, nine times out of ten, y'all, <laughs> you really shouldn't vote for him. Do whatever your heart tells you. Do what God tells you to do. Because at the end of the day, y'all, your gut, your gut and your heart is always going to lead you in the right place. It's your boy, AP. And you already know I'm always, always here for y'all. And I'm always on the spot. Peace.